Hello, I'm an Aspie. So someone with Asperger's syndrome? Asperger's? Asperger's? I say Burgess, but I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty sure it's Gers. I'm pretty sure it's really? Gers. Well. But like that's burger, burger. yeah. Burgess with a J. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry, I guess okay. we should, should have known that before. Okay, no, let's no, start no. again. <laughs> I'm an Aspie, that makes it easier. <laughs> And it's uh, very difficult for me to initiate and maintain a conversation with any stranger, making it very difficult for me to find love. But I think it's perfectly fine for me once I'm familiar with the person. What tips can you suggest to help me out with the situation? Is there a way to get a girl attracted without doing much of the talking? Smiley face. <laughs> I mean, I love talking, so like, if someone just asks me questions about myself. But if someone myself, just like, doesn't talk but does... If the they stuff. ask good questions. Oh, no, stuff. Right? Well, I mean, we should probably Don't have a conversation talk. first. Sorry? We should have a conversation first. I mean, hi, hi, where, now? <laughs> we have very different dating lives. <laughs> Can I have yours? <laughs> no, no, I'm actually a very conservative person there. No, but I have also signed up to Tinder recently. Good mm. fun, good fun. But like having good questions, if you don't want to talk a lot, having good, interesting questions is a number one tip from me. Like not just, hey, how are you? What was your day like? But like, which of the last 52 American presidents would you shag, marry, avoid? <laughs> I, like, I like a good shag, marry, avoid theme. I'm sorry. Like, it's interesting. You never do that to me. What's going on? Oh my God, I have a really good one. Can you do it now? Kind of, okay, but they're all terrible. That's the whole point. Don't you know, okay, shag, marry, avoid, border guard, prison officer, riot cop. Thanks, wow, legend. Shag, marry, avoid. Is it not a shag, kill, marry, kill? Kill, yeah. kill, definitely kill. Sorry. Shag, marry, kill. Are we going to on camera? Could we actually not get uh, done for like threatening state officials or something? I mean, we're not monetized as is. We should be monetized to so watch more of our content. But um, yeah, if you all watch our content, we could eventually get monetized. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, yeah, we're on s we're on six hundred hours, and we need to be on four thousand hours. So. A get bit more. get watching, peeps. Yeah. Uh, right. So sh sorry. That, 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 again. You can all do it. Shag, marry, avoid. Prison officer, riot cop, border guard. In your guard. head, though. In your head, though, because really, this is for we. This is the sort of thing we would be doing if it was just the two of us. But now I'll answer. Okay. Shag, marry, avoid. Border, kill. Kill. Uh, border guard, riot cop, prison officer. Uh, border guard, policeman. Riot cop specifically though. Riot cop and prison, prison officer. officer. I would marry the riot uh, guard because they have quite a higher wage probably. Like they're higher up in terms of the police. <laughs> Happy to live. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got to get something out of the relationship. <laughs> so that that's just that. See, I thought I would shag them because they're going to be super high on drugs and be really pumped and into it. No, that's the prison officer. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, okay, fuck the prison officer. And then kill the border guard. Yeah, I mean, fine. I think I'd shag the I feel like I also, cop. with that, that's just, to me, it seems like the border guard is also like the closest actually life in that situation. So well, well, yeah. in prison guards. On mass though. On well, mass. it depends, okay, it depends what the prison is as well. Like we're talking very much like Britain centric here. Yeah, I'm talking like Britain centric, but like, Prison officers also like commit very specific assaults themselves yes, that the others don't. All like, do, all right? But border guards don't like. Well, what's your answer? Shag a riot cop. <laughs> They're huge bears these days, which is kind yeah, of exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kill a prison officer, marry a border guard. They would take you places. They would take you places. <laughs> I can like check in all of my like knives for free. I don't know. What's the park here? What's the park? I don't have to take my laptop out of my bag and like ruin my beautiful packing. Right. Fair play. <laughs> but basically, they're all terrible and they should all uh... die. <laughs> See, neither of us said the sentence, so we're safe. <laughs> anyway, to the question. To the question. So sorry. So to be fair, I guess I had the. Um... I had the privilege of two people close to me uh, to have like given me some answers because again it's a sort of like question where like you don't necessarily um, don't feel qualified to answer it and again thank you so much guys again isn't it fascinating what, what a poverty and lack of a program like this there is that we're getting questions that we always go like caveat we're not we're not like like 
we're not uh, we're not shouldn't be the ones answering this. But the way that Sienna yeah, equity algorithms are also like in the future in five years time, it's 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 an umbrella organization. Yeah, with lots of different specific. With lots of different specific people like answering their own shit but and supporting like each other. We are able to answer it in as much as if I were to be hit on by someone with Asperger's, how would I want that to go? So we can yeah. be like the girl in the situation, right? Yeah. I'm also now going to be doing just teeny tiny of pleasing of the audience. We'll do but it. Just really, really just to exp well, please please them. But like to explain. Pleasure them. <laughs> uh, to explain basically why, because um, a bit of the criticism that we do receive is just like, we are just two white cis girls that are answering these questions. We're very much aware of that. And the people are go like, why don't you get like a guest, you know? like you know a trans person or like a person of color you know like to to give their perspective on these sort of questions and like you see how it sounds it sounds tokenistic as fuck yeah like so we don't like, want to do we that. don't want to get like the token poc yeah, to say how like, like people of color feel like yeah because it's subjective as fuck and we very much acknowledge i think our own um limitations yeah. in this conversation and i think another thing is like it's really important for us to like keep the dynamic that we have which is kind of like banter and a bit silly and the kind of living yeah. room situation this which like if we get like a someone like really legit and for real someone actually to with us yeah <laughs> then that would just be like we'd have to i don't know then it would put us in terms more of a, like an expert situation which mm. is just something we're not and like we make jokes we fuck up we talk about our own sex lives this is not to say we wouldn't have guests in the future but they wouldn't be a guest because they're trans or because they're poc or because they're a prison officer this would be yeah. they'd be a guest because well, that we wouldn't have that they have something unique to contribute yeah. because of them yeah not their like yeah so fund us and maybe we'll get, get yes okay now for real to get back to the question so yeah as i said i had like the privilege i had a couple of my friends to like answer the question oh, oh, shall no. we sorry this just kind this of is gonna be terrible the, the person on the video Oh, it's a whole variety of sounds. Oh, okay. Okay. Go. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what do they say? Yeah, so I guess I just have a couple of bullet points. I'll try to get through them as such. And I think out of those, you'll have plenty to like kind of confirm or deny on all of the stuff seen. Okay. <laughs> so, first uh, reaction, and I obviously sent this, well, obviously we received those uh, anonymously, and I've sent it to a couple of my friends being like, hey, we have no idea who it is. So, so really, it was just like really just trying to. We did that the same with thing with the sex worker question, right? Yes. Like, we tried to get. Whenever we're not specifically uh, relating to the subject, we try to get opinions yeah. from those engaged because we don't want to like speak over anyone. Sometimes. Sometimes we haven't done that for its own specific reasons. But anyways, um, so one of their reactions was, first of all, mate, like to just be like, hey, I'm going to meet someone at the party and we'll be happily ever after. That's some movie bullshit that never happens. Yes. And they like put it very, very specifically that. And I think that was a really, really useful contribution that like even if you are because I guess our like stereotypical sort of sorry, like um, world of how we interact like very much sort of supports the idea that it is like that and i think people um, not in our world not in our world but yeah so but basically they were like first of all get rid of that idea this in is our bullshit. world no one has a happy ever after yeah and uh, what they said is just that uh they have found it uh, easier to either use internet because there are no stupid social cues and whether someone is interested or not you can just literally ask that or you can like leave the conversation whenever you want to and actually uh, from what i know from them they have been like quite successful in finding long-term relationships via that can I engage these point by point? Absolutely. Because on that point, I find that really interesting because one of the critiques of internet dating is that it's really hard to read tone, right? And someone who has Asperger's finds it in social situations hard to read tone anyway. So like without that added level of being able to tell from someone's like emoji or specific like use of a full stop instead of exclamation mark what their tone is, like I'm, I'm just really interested by the yeah. fact that that's actually a helpful avenue, not a much harder avenue because of those cues those non-verbal, those written cues. Yeah, I think they also have really, which I found really, really interesting, that they're kind of like, hey, we don't need to kind of like live in the shadows. You can totally be like, hey, I didn't necessarily get that. Does that mean this or does that mean that? That's so true. And I'd much right? rather that. Yeah, yeah, that is actually really true. Like, you can totally do that. So maybe that's a really good point, actually. If you don't know what someone means, ask. Yeah. 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 And to be fair, we should be doing that more of that anyway. In every everywhere. conversation. Literally. <laughs> but that's the thing, actually, in the really... Oh, I don't know how to say this. This is going to sound a bit like... The word is not... This, the word I'm going to sound is way more... Oh, The, the word I'm going to use is way more... Um, I think it's more baggage than actually the word I mean in my head, but it's maybe my English or whatever. But it's a certain... Maybe what the thing will come out from this answer is like certain fetishization or whatnot. But like what I'm saying here is that like we have made up so many weird 
social cues that are not real that are just like this like sort of peacock like the paradise bird sort of dance like kind of courting that we do as as people that like are trying to play games mm -hmm. and something that fuck we games. in our first episode yeah. we said like fuck, fuck games. games and i still fucking stand by that and yeah this whole like you know oh are they into me are they not like oh my god they're not something like i'm honestly i'm, I'm 28 i'm too old for this shit yeah like, you either are or you're not if like, you're gonna ghost me then we're over this is not a like yeah. hard to get situation and i think that's such a that's fuck a bit of a leftist get. that's a bit of a leftist perspective because and now i know that before i'm a tinder man like it's ripe of that bullshit yeah like my god everyone's like you know way too cool for school yeah. to to have any sort of if you don't text me, anyone. I'm going to assume you don't like me and get over you stat. Yeah. Like, I'm not like going to be like, ooh, maybe I should try this. No. So it's a bit of a like, basically, we have really fucked our own situation by like creating these, yeah, these, these weird rules, yeah. rules that are also very much put on us by, I think, by societal pressure and pop culture as well. Well, women shouldn't be direct, right? Like men should do the chasing. You should play play it cool be like oh i can't meet this week i'll meet next week yeah Fuck it, I can leave them on red if you i know, like you i'll meet stuff. you now yeah like, leave them on red like all no, of that like leave them on red. bullshit that's that we mean it's just yeah mean. it's just meanness and but that's the real anti social anti-social interaction disguised as some kind of dating dance and to be honest fuck that shit if you're gonna not respond to my text you don't deserve my response like well, you say this and i say this and we know it's true but we are like a we are like a slit of a tiny minority out there. The real world outside of our yeah, milieu yeah, yeah. is fucking crazy, man. And I've kind of dipped in on in and out of it. Like uh, I'm fully we in went, right now. Remember, yeah. remember we went clubbing a little bit. Like mm. and we kind of noticed how it is out there in real world. We did a um, IRL investigation into the dating habits of people in London, and it was it was regularly sad. we do this. We basically me and Ro, what we do like we dress up like real world, like real people would. <laughs> Like, you know, <laughs> boob zaps, short, short, say, uh, short skirts. Yeah. And we go like Dawson, Old Street, just to see how it is. Because we, you know, we take our job really seriously. Yeah. We're not going any on. So we go out and we see what's up, you know. And we, uh, we spend way too much money on cocktails, money that we don't have. But, you know, it's We have it's a coffee crazy. link attached to all of our videos yeah, if you want PayPal, to fund this. You just go, like, it's literally like just like buy us a tisky. Literally, I think, well, okay, we have now made about 30 pounds out of this project. Uh, as in like 18 pounds it was on the last show we got sent a bit more money okay so that's good but i mean yeah no we still share Please. But basically yeah so, so out there it's terrible so so we massively massively appreciate that the, the 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 whole play with social cues and bullshit is so so fucking real like it's just yeah, yeah. i've noticed i'm someone like the whole like being mean to keep them keen if you're mean i don't want to talk to you you're mean if you're mean fuck you yeah don't be mean to someone you fancy. Like, don't be mean in full stop, but particularly to someone you want to like have the sex with. Yeah. Like, okay, so I'm like only like an, a line and okay, a half. Sorry, yeah, next one, okay, sorry, yeah, next one, next one. So another thing, so internet first. And From the, the other one was like uh, hobbies and movements. So like, uh, so basically if you're, you know, because uh, if you're really interested in, I don't know, World War II planes or, or crafting or or particular law, you know, or maybe you're like really obsessed with this particular uh, social movement. Basically, what, what I obsessed is the wrong word to be fair here. Yeah. Having but a passion. My understanding here is that, as again, like uh, a, a certain, a certain expression sometimes of someone who has Asperger's, Asperger's syndrome is like a, a real, real uh, generosity of time towards something and like real passion to it as such yep. and so like yeah engage with that all that and yet and yet straight away they said well like yeah but don't do it just so like go get laid like because that's fucking weird and like don't do that but also like i'm so i'm part of this uh facebook relationships group called um that relationship sounds exhausting and it's very interesting because people post about their relationships and get advice it's like kind of what we do but as a facebook group but not as Way good as what we do so <laughs> it's like normie but Someone was talking today about how their boyfriend who has Asperger's uh, like info dumps on them. And so like he's got these like very niche specific interests, like something to do with coding. And he will just like he feels like physically like un like unable to rest until he gets that information out. And he like info dumps on her all of his information about coding. And all the advice was kind of similarly to what you're saying was like instead of info dumping on her, like join a Facebook group. About them. Like there are Facebook groups for every niche interest now. Like. It, and that's a really good way of like one meeting people but also getting your like hobby out of your system so you don't overwhelm a partner 
because yeah like that is a um, and like a lot of people in the comments were like I, I have um, Asperger's or autism and I do this I do this too and I've got mechanisms with my partner or like yeah I like do it in a blog or I do it in a Facebook group or this or this so it was, it was a really interesting like in relation to this question yeah. like if you have these, these passions and these hobbies either you find someone who's equally passionate about them or you find ways of managing discussing that passion with them and with a group of people who with similar interests because yeah. yeah every passion has a yeah. Have a fan base, but and yet you wouldn't shouldn't just go there just to like get laid or something. Cause that's cause no, that's, that's sort of. But well. you can not to say that as lefties we don't do that all the time. <laughs> but I've never done it through Facebook specifically. Yeah. Like some people do, and like in my kink group, for example, it's really sh frowned upon. Like I'm part of a kink group called Oops Up My Kink, and you're not allowed to go into someone's DMs without asking first. Yeah, and that's but, like I mean, a really again, good rule. Maybe this is a bit more like IRL. Yeah, I but, but, but what I'm saying is that's actually a very good way of doing that. Like, th you can meet so many people through online forums that... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Then I go, um, yeah, so I uh, think perhaps rather than, like, trying to flirt straight away, perhaps it would be kind of quite straight up declaring what is interesting about you, you know? So being like, I know maybe it's, like, the coolest thing you know that it is about yourself. Like, start talking about that. And that will immediately, like, get someone yes. attracted a lot of us like I'm, i don't know maybe we're just too shy to do that but like well, but, but, you know, everyone should be because then you just sound like an arrogant fuck but i mean there are ways to to approach that in like a i think in like a way that would be a conversation starter straight away and that's just done and now you're already in flux i mean i use that now like for example like i love I'm saying, not going to not, actually not us like awkward <laughs> but like i like saying to people who i don't know that i was a famous stand-up comedian in austria because you fucking were because I were also imagine. because like to people in london that's like a kind of a weird thing and it's like it's like my like you know my conversation piece if you like and so i, I use that when i'm feeling socially awkward and like i don't have anything to say to people i'm like so i was a stand-up comedian once yeah. and i can either go down the route of talking about a comedy or going down the route of talking about why it was terrible and i had to leave austria yeah. but either way it's like created a <laughs> Yeah, that happened. Yeah, um, they're like legit. <laughs> yeah. I no, it's because of the comedy, because the comedy, I don't know how to explain this. It's the best. It's basically an alcohol agonions, but it's actually funny because it's Rowan and, and someone else doing it like in a really, really funny way. Like, it's superb. You should call, you should check it out. It's called Tolerant for Alice. Tolerant Alice. And yeah, oh, but it, uh, it went sour and I had to leave the country. But either way, there's like, it's my, it's my go to, like, fun fact about me for a stranger and yeah. it, it works every time and so like yeah that's actually really good advice another thing is like people like being asked questions and listened to so you know again when we talked about the little games and yeah. a bit previously but just like there are quirky things that you can just like ask straight away that like are also like beginners of conversations or not only ask but also yeah just put out the yeah. such i mean this kind of requires a bit more of a rehearsal i suppose like what's your favorite dinosaur oh my god I'm already into you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite dinosaur, Mariam? I think it's the one with like a really tall neck. Is that br Brachiosaurus? And tiny, tiny head. The, like the Sharian one. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's a Brachiosaurus. We, it's the tallest yeah. one. I'm getting I'm really a nod. Small it's a, and I have big yeah. head, so it's like the opposite of me. Cute. All right, <laughs> I like it. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, and then basically they really, really talk about like even if you think someone is into you, verbal like consent is great. And if but if you are worried of misunderstanding, asking again is perfectly cool. Uh, and it's um, yeah, it's basically it's absolutely fine. But to maybe just, I yeah? think one of the things we need to discuss with this and also with uh, we've created a monster thing is that there's different ways of asking. Yeah. And I think that is actually quite important. Like rather than like I like you, can we fuck? There's like I've really enjoyed this conversation. And you see what, and then you see yeah, what they say. Yeah, 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 or yeah. like, hey, oh, like that was super funny. Like you're super funny. Like honestly, around like uh, the the a, a lot of my notes for that particular question in terms of us creating monster actually came from a WhatsApp conversation. Yeah. And something that you said, which was really really perfect. Like uh, you said, surely the better question to ask would be like, hey, maybe perhaps we click tonight. Would do you think that? And you said that, that, that was yeah. really, really cool. And that's the sort of thing that perhaps could and be. And the thing, because when we say like ask and be direct, we don't mean I like you, can we bang? We mean, yeah. we and mean that's like. Got, that's what yeah. happened to me. <laughs> and this is the understanding that, like, not just applying to you, but applying to a lot of our questioners, I think, has happened. That, like, yeah, there also, is a I way. I think of, you're a really nice person, by the way, if you're watching. Yeah, I really and do. thank you for bringing this question. Yeah. But, like, yeah. No, 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 the person that actually did that to oh. me. They, oh, I that person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, 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 of course. Other than that, you're an awesome person. It was like, you know, it was a hit and a miss. It happens. Yeah. But like, yeah, there's a way of being like, yeah, I think we really clicked tonight or like super funny. We should hang out again. And you can get you can get a vibe from those kind of questions without going straight in for the jugular of like, that's funcular, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Legend. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, like. Okay, and then the other person that I'm now moving on to them is just like, luckily they've been happy, like they've been lucky enough to kind of get a push themselves, but they were quite open um, about them being available. And that's another thing. It's just like, how do they do that? How do you, how, yeah. do, you, how do you flag that you're available without being like, hi, I'm Rowan, I'm single. Well, I think again, there are ways of doing that, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, it's ways of doing that for us that are just like, I guess we can find ways to do it as such. But I mean, I don't know if you, honestly, like, cause I really love and know that person. They're just like, they're frustrated. They're like, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm like, kind of awesome but I'm single but I shouldn't be because I'm kind of awesome but not in that sort but of way if someone said that I would kind of respect no, that because I think that all the time about myself yeah same I'm like and I'm so kind of, great how do people not appreciate they me? kind of haven't had like a the best time in recently and such but they're such absolute legends and I think that was their way kind of like putting themselves out there hmm. being like kind of gone through something shit well again again this could be totally like oh hey like I have this like X thing going on that's totally bullshit so this is all super super or it could be manipulative like you know yeah yeah the yeah. one we compared as well but like there's a certain way and I don't think we're now demonstrating the best ways of doing this uh, but there are ways of perhaps don't be like us um, but how do you say you're single in a non creepy no, no, way? you don't say you're single. You're saying that you're available. I think that's a different way of saying it. How do you? I don't honestly don't know how I would also, do I've that. Also, I haven't been single flirting. since I'm 19, so. Uh, All right, <laughs> Miss Brag a lot. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's polyamorous. This whole thing. This one. Not only have I not been single, I've had multiple partners. <laughs> and that has brought me many. Anyways. Um, um, and now right. I'm on Tinder. <laughs> I had this conversation, all right? No, I know. It's all it's legitimate. All it's, all, it's all it's all very consensual. I am also, I haven't done anyways. I was, I was I'm kidding. Th- I'm so sorry. I, the fact that you have an account there doesn't mean you've actually done anything. Oh, I know. Yeah, I have an account. Yeah, that's it. Same. Yeah. Okay. They were also saying age and practice helps a lot because uh, you learn to camo- mm. camouflage certain things, which is a very beautiful, like it's a fascinating time that they use camouflage as in like, Oh, so I am like the people around me, right? But so like I'm thing? like the trees. No, it's sadly it's fucked. Yeah, it's really that's sad. what I feel like. Oh, so I am also as fucking manipulative and terrible as everyone else. I don't think that's what they meant, but basically this kind of implies. But also that they're, they're like hiding their that true they have self. They're pressure. Yeah. They're hiding a true self to create a persona that is like more socially acceptable. It's quite. I mean, I understand that it's a necessity, unfortunately, but thing. it's sad. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, the mainstream is fucking shit. Yeah. So no one should be doing that. We all hide well, our true selves I to mean, get laid. Like, Yeah, <laughs> that's true. We all camouflage ourselves to be way more normal than we are. Because yeah. we're all fucked. Or lack of. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, as you age, everything that feels so crucial at the time becomes a bit less intense. I don't know if that's helpful as, as such. I know, again, the age of you, the person that's asking the question, person, like, you will... Again, with a lot of mental health, something that I heard or found is just like we create. And that was a beautiful analogy that someone said. I'm not going to be able to give justice to it. But um, the way that one should be seeing mental health sometimes, perhaps, is like it's a it's like a a slope to ski. And then there are certain, um, I guess, paths that have already been made Mm. as such. And it's very difficult to get out of those. And so that's how I see also my mind. It's just like it it kind of falls into certain patterns. It's a pattern, right? Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's very difficult to get out of that. And so my anxiety goes like, okay, this, and that means that, and that means that, okay, I'm in the pits now. Um, but sometimes if you can like, um, yeah, just basically, I think through hit and miss, if you find that you kind of break out of those things and things are a bit less intense because it's just like a lot of the time, basically you realize what, was like the pits actually is not in, as intense and it's also actually that, not the like, end of the world then like you can actually go the other way it's actually yeah you know, and also that the potential thing is not also like the highest stakes like if you get or do not get that person or that thing that's also not the end of the world like, or rejection as well yeah exactly rejection is not the end of the world like and that's a really important lesson to learn i think and that comes with age so i was gonna say no i was like, literally about to say that's something i think you've learned better than me and that's why you're better at actually hitting on people who you fancy than me because, being rejected <laughs> because, because you are less scared of rejection than me yes actually like that's true yeah like i am so terrified of rejection that i will not put myself out there i just won't mm. and i that i've always said this to you that something i really really admire about you is that you do put yourself out there when it, people you it's like it's just a bit of a like 
I don't know. It's like I would regret it if I didn't yeah. do the extra mile. And I don't think I've ever done it in the creepaway. Tell me if I have. <laughs> I don't think I have, but, I'm like but it was weird. I was just like, I always like send that extra message. Yeah, and I always give you advice to do that. I'm like, yeah, tell them how you feel. Yeah, what have yeah. you got to lose? But I don't do it myself. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So. But I never regret that I did it because exactly. I don't think it was in any way. It was. M it was more like, oh, should we meet again? So that's yeah. Like, I really yeah. respect that. Anyways. Uh, and. And as well, though, to be fair, they also, you know, always say so socializing can be very taxing and a lot of it's bullshit really is. As in like, you, the, the, the framing of your question was very much like, how do I get things in like a social situation? But like a lot of it will be taxing and like finding ways to get out of that particular situation in like a big room. There are so many, many a like uh, avenues these days to do that and it's fine. But also, like, it depends on your, like, friendship circles. Like, do you get invited to big parties? Do you just have smaller gatherings with the closer circles of friends? Like, how are you meeting people? Like, the rules all annoyingly differ in these different situations, right? And there are plenty of Facebook groups these days is, as well about this. is what I this think, as well. Like, yeah. even about just, like, oh, you know, support for people with Asperger's syndrome. Absolutely. And you can totally, like, thank you so much for posting this to us. But, like, there are also very, like, plenty of, like, more speci speci specific groups to uh, to address this yeah, too. but it's cool that you brought advice from people like yeah. who relate i think it's yeah. really well a really yeah, good so framework for the legends. question yeah absolutely yeah thank you to them. to them yeah thank you and i hope i gave that justice because they were like we're gonna fucking watch this <laughs> so thank you i'm sorry for veering off the question a bit more in the beginning of the question yeah 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 we just needed to know whether we'd shag a riot cop or not <laughs>